I'm in Beijing Airport, Beijing City International Airport, T3, waiting on a flight to head to Xinjiang. Um, I'm going to a city called Ulumichi, which is about 4 million in population. Remember, Xinjiang is a massive, massive province. There is about, I believe, about 26 million people who live in Xinjiang. But when you look at the space, the size of the, the province, the, the autonomous region, as it's known, then you can see that there is a there's a there's a lot to actually visit. However, I am just going to one city, Ulumichi. Um, I'm also planning to go up to the mountain range, an area called the Heavenly Lake, which I believe is beautiful, stunning, and it's likely to remind me of Scotland, um, definitely, because obviously Scotland has got the same sort of mountainous and lakes, or we call them lochs. So I'm really, really excited about this. When I was coming across the city there in a, in a taxi, uh, Lisa's texting me and saying, you know, remember, be, be sensible, don't be too overly curious, understand there are some tensions in that area and so on. And I get it, I've read into it, I've read into the history and of the tensions in that area. I know about some of the attacks that put in some of the controls. I understand what the Western media say, I don't actually believe that. I do think that it was some um, some some support put in that area to help people come through a very dark and challenging time where there was some extremist activity there, very similar to what we saw in the West. The difference here is there's there's a investment and, and support and education and so on. Um, in the West, what did we do? We bombed it. Get out of countries, Iraq, um, Libya, Afghanistan and so on. So. Yeah, there's a lot about for me when I read some of the foreign media talking about Xinjiang, I always think, mm, you know, there's a, there's a reason why you're stoking that fakery, um, and that is because, as usual, um, political stance. Anyway, I am going to stay clear of a lot of that. This is all I'm going to suggest and what I'm going to talk about um, on this video about that region. What I am going to do is go and have a look at a beautiful city, beautiful countryside, understand the cuisine, have a look at some of the, the locations in and around the city and really enjoy the next four or five days in Xinjiang. If that's your thing, then follow me, follow along. Um, and yeah, I hope you enjoy the videos. Don't know how many I'm going to make, but I plan on sharing it with you as I explore this beautiful area of China. Come along with me. Hey, 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 hey! So I have arrived in Urumqi city here in Xinjiang and everything was straightforward. The flight was quite busy, but it is a Monday, so it may be because of that. Very straightforward flight, came out through the arrivals gate, no hand, uh, just hand luggage, so no luggage to pick up, straight out into a taxi, 20, 25 minutes, arrived here at the hotel. Now a confession I've got to make here is that I'm in a nice hotel. I've decided to book into the Conrad Hotel in Yuramichi. Now it is expensive but it's not expensive if you 
compare it to the UK prices. So for a night, with breakfast, I'm paying £120. I'm here for four nights. So I know I'm sort of fortunate to be able to afford to do that. But uh, I was going to book in a, in a cheaper hotel for a couple of nights and then come here for a couple of nights. But I thought, hey, just go for it. You know, um, life is for living, so they say. Anyway, let me share with you what the hotel room is like. Cause as I walked in, I recorded some video for you. You can have a look around. It's a nice room. Um, looks comfortable enough couple of chairs and a table, go through into the bathroom, bath there, Thailand looks fantastic. The shower setup looks a bit odd, you know, shower next to the window, might be interesting to do that. I'll keep the curtains closed, I don't want to put anybody off their breakfast if I'm showering in the morning. Oh God, the thought of that. Anyway, and the rest of the bathroom area looks pretty cool. Go towards the toilet, as usual, Japanese design toilet, awesome. Sting in the tail though when you use it, ha ha ha. Definitely recommend it. If I had my own house, I would buy one of these things. They're great, I love them. Go back into the, the living area or the sleeping area, bedroom, whatever you want to call it. Bed again, looks comfortable. Very large television, I have to say, very large television. And then the biggest disappointment, I think, is the view out the window. It is also a um, fantastic restaurant, which I will use for breakfast, given I've got breakfast included in the price. There's an amazing swimming pool. Hopefully I'll get to use that. A very cool looking gym. And then on the 37th floor, there is a sky bar, which looks pretty cool, pretty relaxing with a nice view. So all of that is what you get here in Urumqi in a Conrad Hotel, a high class, reasonably priced hotel. And it's just not what you think when people talk about the Uyghurs and Xinjiang and Urumqi um, in the Western media. It's a whole different impression. Anyway, back to this view out the window from the room. Just not impressed. It's not the best view out of the window, but saying that, I do have to put it in perspective. I realise that I'm very fortunate to live the life that I have. It's interesting, I was listening to a podcast when I was coming over on the, uh, on the flight, and in the podcast, the guy was talking about um, there's 8 billion people in the world and if you're living in a developed country, maybe in the West, and you're living a half decent life, then what's the chances of you rolling the dice again and getting the life that you've got now? Actually, the chances are, are quite slim. So I realised when I was listening to that, I thought I'm really quite fortunate in the things that I'm able to do, the life here in China and the being able to explore and afford a reasonably, a reasonably good hotel like this. So I realise I'm very, very fortunate. I was also reading a good book on the, the plane. You may catch that in some of the video. Recommend that book. Anyway, I'm going to go and have a walk around. I like to orientate myself when I just arrive in a city. I'm going to go do that. Maybe grab some tea, grab a beer. But if you want to see what Xinjiang and Rumachi is like, stay tuned to my channel. I'll share a couple of videos with you over time. Yeah. Let's do this.
have it. A little walk around the local area here in the Urumqi city in Xinjiang. Stay local. You've got the feeling it's very much like any other Chinese city, shops, shopping malls, food. I actually stopped for a hot pot, which is kind of weird for this part of the world because I'm actually supposed to eat meat. That's the traditional kebab meat and so on. That's the traditional cuisine here. So a bit stupid of me to stop for a hot pot, but I did want to share with you that this is very much typical city here in China, same sort of feel, shops, malls and so on. Anyway, this is me Ian here in Urumqi, saying to you take care of yourself, take care of your family, look after your community and as always, peace out. Oh, I'm away for a nightcap. I'm going to go up to the 37th floor and see what I can see. Anyway, catch me in another video. Take care.